get to this Bodie James. About to say, okay, are we gonna let's go to Bodie? Bodie's okay. on a roll right now, man. Okay. Bodie, what's up? No, no, no. I said okay. Okay, Bodie dropped the album today. Totally produced by a real bad man. What did you okay. think about the production on uh, Killing Nothing? Killing Nothing is the name of the album. Okay, so the production, look at what it made me want to do. It made me want to go do my research to find out who real bad men are. Mm -hmm. Do you know who they are? I don't know. Okay, so first of all, the first thing I was thinking, I was like, man, whoever this is, and I thought it was one person. First of all, it's not one person. It's a team. Oh, Second of all, they're really known for making clothing. They make beats as well. Hmm. Yeah, they got their own clothing line, and they got some other hip hop ties as well. They've been working with some other artists as well for a minute. Guess where they're based out of? New York. No, nope, they're based out of Los Angeles because I was thinking, well, these beats kind of sound like his stuff with Alchemist. And I'm thinking, like, oh, well, they're inspired by Alchemist because I did my research today. They're based out of LA. And so what I was hearing was, was because this, this is the second project that he's done with them. These are like, uh, I don't know how well they know the Alchemist, but there's definitely some apprenticeship going on. Mm -hmm. And Boldy is kind of like setting himself up to transition through the future. I mean, Alchemist is not a young dude anymore. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got three young dude when we were a young dude. He's older than us, I believe. Oh, yeah. You feel me? So I heard... Alchemist got sons out here. And like you said, he has like these... Um, these guys that are coming up under him who are keeping the sound going, which is a great thing because right now, everybody always says Alchemist is basically the answer for everyone. Everybody wants Alchemist to produce their whole album. So yeah, Alchemist needs some help out here. And it sounds like these guys might be some of the help that Alchemist is getting. And, you know, like you said, him and Boldy have made albums together. So it's a smooth transition for a real bad man to produce this whole thing. It is. And so when I connected all of that, I thought to myself, well, this isn't a price of a tea in China. This isn't Super Tech Mobo. And this isn't Bo Jackson. But you want to know why? The Alchemist produced all three of those projects, but this is probably the next best one after those four that he's, after those three that he's made in the last three years. And that's saying a lot because Boldy's made like nine or 10 projects in the last three years. The caller yeah, says, Boldy's still above Benny, Detroit's finest. I, His projects are better than Benny's, definitely. That's, I mean, that's undoubtable. And I love I, Benny. I was actually about to say, if you want to go by the last four years, he's made project-wise, not MC-wise. I want to clarify this. Not MC-wise, but project-wise. And this is why the Kendrick thing be so problematic. Listen to what I'm about to say. If you want to go album-wise, he's been better than Benny and Conway the last four years. Oh, yeah. Album for album. Album-wise. Yes. Album yeah. Now, where is he as an MC in terms of how he gets rated and placed in relationship to them? And that's why it'd be troublesome when you rate somebody just based on their quality of albums and not their MC level. Because I keep trying to tell you, it's like, no, no, no. All those dudes that Kendrick gets looped with, the only person that he's a better MC than, like, as far as, like, on that rapid he rap stuff is Tupac. And nobody's the writer that Tupac is. I mean, Tupac's still probably our greatest writer. Yeah, he's in a different realm because of that. Yeah, so so this is where one of those things where it's like, no, 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 you don't have to be this super lyrical rapper and make all this in-depth material to be a great album maker. That's why it's like when people talk about Kendrick's album, it's like, no, 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 I know the albums are great. But it doesn't mean like you're all-time, all-time, all-time great because you make great albums. Boldy makes great albums. This is another example of it. I said, um, what's his name? Randall, who's in our hip hop and sports group. Mm -hmm. People don't know, me and Mike are in a hip hop and sports group where it's like, go we figure, do right? Petty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, do, we do super petty things in there. Shout out to the Bryants. Like, we do super petty things in there, but this morning, our guy Randall, and we actually both know Randall, I guess, like outside of the group, we come to find out. Uh, Randall is like, you know, Boldy's the best MC in Detroit. And I was like, he's not the best MC in Detroit, but he is the best album maker MC wise coming out of Detroit. And that's not a question. And so this is a guy that may not be Royce or M on the mic or may not have the notoriety that Big Sean does, but he makes better albums than all of them. Well, yeah. 
Uh, you think he makes mm-hmm. better albums than Royce? He does. Because here's the thing. When I think about it, does, does Royce have three projects that's fucking with Super Tech Mobile, a price, of t- a price of Tea in China, and Bo Jackson? Name three Royce projects that's messing with those three projects. I like the book of Ryan. Like I said, name three. <laughs> LP with the Super Chat says, um, never like white boys making I love hip-hop songs, acting like uh, they were born in the culture. Lord Finesse taxed Mac Miller for using his beat. Uh, he's talking about that Logic record. Logic's Mixed. He's mulatto. Uh, Blue Collar Hustler says, Nas is our greatest writer. Tupac knew that. No. Nas is our greatest MC. Tupac is our greatest writer. Big difference. Jordan House says, uh, if y'all haven't peeped yet, I highly recommend uh, Quinn Chris, a new album, Death Frame. Out of all the albums I've heard this year, I don't think I uh, had a better first listen than this one. Gotta I've heard that the 12 Chris needs to be checked. I've heard that too. That's my third time hearing that. The okay. Week, so. Well, we're going to check that. Mad Max says, Bodie ain't Benny. LOL. Bodie's flow is so boring. Like, no, Bodie Boldy's got the hooks, Boldy. though. Hold on. Bodie's not Benny, but Benny's not Bodie because Benny don't know how to put together projects like this. And I'm going to and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Bodie's old school. And this is what I mean when I said Bolden was old school, and I've said this before, Mike. No, he knows how to write a full song by himself. Track number 10, Six Sawyer, that's one of those records that Benny, if he makes that record, it doesn't see the light of day because he doesn't come up with a hook for it that's going to work. Mm. Boldy is able to take that song and because of the hook, make it into something that's quality album material because he is a full-fledged album maker and writer. And he comes from an era, Kids in the Hall, where you had to make full-on rap songs and rap shit. And so he's good at piecing a song together by his damn self. And I'm going to say that over and over again. And there keeps on being evidence to it. And he spends a lot of time out in L.A. because now I'm thinking about, you know, how much he works with Alchemist. And now, so he's got three full-length projects with Alchemist, like, just in the last few years. Like, he's got more projects with Alchemist, obviously. He's got two with Real Bad Man. Vince Staples on Surf and Surf. Like, L.A. is bold. He's like second stomping ground when he's not in the deep. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He done found the lane. What about um, no. Allegory in the Book of Ryan? Okay. Because like people said, are saying that the Book of Ryan's better than anything that Baldy has. I don't know. Okay. So once but again, you're talking about consistency. I, I said something very key when I brought up that. I said, give me three because I'm very clear on the Allegory in the Book of Ryan. Where your third one. And that's where you lose because I can go give you, because after those top three Boldy albums I gave you, I can go give you this one in about another two or three projects after that. Royce and him don't have that. You know, what I what I got from this album, like you said, that consistency is like what yeah. Boldy's bringing, even what he's bringing the features. He reminds me of, currency but in a whole different way like obviously they're way too different they're two totally different artists right but they do the same things as far as like giving their fans what they want from them they're very consistent whenever they drop projects they know how to pick production they know how to put together projects when they're on features they dictate the pace that's the other thing that Boldy does him and Stove do a good job of that Jay Short with the Super Chat says, Elzai, oh, Boldy. He said, Elzai is greater than Boldy. Black Milk albums are better, too. Elzai is no. my favorite MC out of Detroit. I like Black okay. Milk's albums. As See, well. This is what I keep saying. Like Those guys are better MCs than Boldy. They're not better than Boldy at putting a project together. They're not. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how about this? Listen to this. Go, go. <laughs> I want you to go name me a Detroit rapper right now. And this is just, I want you to look at both these recent history. 2022, like today, killing nothing. 2021 at the end of the year, Super Tech Mobile. Last summer, Bo Jackson. Mm. Real Bad Boldy at the end of 2020 with Real Bad Man again. The Versace tape, 2020. Manager, uh, uh, manager on McNichols, 2020. Price of Tea in China, 2020. Just in the last three years, these five Hold on, two, four, six, that's seven projects in the last three years. All of these are bangers. Where where, where, where are Royce and El- Elzai seven banging projects at? Show them to me. 
Show them to me. It's a lot of look the pace that Baldy is on. Right. I mean, guys Show aren't on the them. West Side and uh, Baldy pace. West Side Gun and Baldy got pace, but West Side has a <laughs> lot of features and ways where Baldy is pretty much handling these projects himself. The Versace tape. The Versace tape is my shit. The first, uh, the first song on there, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got Roxy Cotton on there with West Side. Like, no, no, no. Like, both, oh. both of them down. Dumb it down. Brought up Prime. So you got Prime One, Prime Two, um, Death in in Certain, and the Bar Exam. Yeah. Okay. So that's not as good as the stuff that I just named. So and sorry. then you got them Allegory, Book of Ryan. Royce Scott not Jones. Good. You know what? Like, I didn't like Prime Two. I like Prime One. Because Prime Two is not good. Prime One yeah. is good. How about this? Prime One is not better than Boldy's. Uh, not, how about this? Prime One is not better than A Price of Tea in China or Bo Jackson. Mm. It's not. I'm going to go back and l- listen to those back to back because I remember no. liking Prime One a lot. I haven't listened to it in a minute, no, though. I gotta I, be real. I, I really enjoy Prime One. It's not better than A Price of Tea in China or Bo Jackson. It's not. Mad Max says, man, no disrespect. Bodie sounds like he's asleep every track. His projects be good, but come on. No, I guess people I'm, ain't feeling uh, the Bodie assessment here. No, every time we talk about Bodie, people go over like his voice and like how he's supposed, he sounds so slow. It's like, well, that's his voice. How is he supposed to sound? Like, I just because he doesn't right. sound the way you want him to sound. It's like, I mean, I, I remember people used to say this about Master Killer, and somebody just told me, it was like, yo, that's how Master Killer flowed. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, I guess he was like, yeah. He's like, that's it. That's how he flows. But, you know, in, in hip-hop, a lot of people try to sound like a lot of people, right? Or a lot mm-hmm. of people try to take on an approach that most people are going to gravitate to or that they saw somebody gravitate to. I think Andre 3000 was saying... When he came in the game, he wanted to rap like Red Man because that's what, you know, people were on. It takes a lot to sit there and say, you know what, this is how I'm going to rap. This is my voice. This is my that's approach. I mean. and yeah, rock both have been doing his own thing for a minute with it. That's why it's like, no, 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 y'all not about to take nothing away from him just because he doesn't rap the way these other guys rap. Especially when you talk about Master Killer. Like, imagine hearing Ghostface and... And Method Man's float is out there, and then you got Inspector rapping the way he raps, and then he's cool with just rapping the way that he's rapping, and Old Dirty's doing what he's doing. That takes a lot of confidence, though. So, what are you rating no. this project? I felt like it was a solid four. Solid four? I'm with that. Yeah. I think it was solid through and through. I mean, I think Bodie has a whole bunch of fours, and then a 4.5 here and there, you know? Yeah, like A Price of Tea in China is like his peak to me still so far because that album has a feel to it, you know, where I felt like it, it just felt like something coming together properly. But, I mean, Bo Jackson, Super Tech Mobo, the Versace tape, is killing nothing, Price of Tea in China. This is all in the last three years. Ray Realm wow. says, would you brothers be adverse to a Boldy versus uh, Royce versus? Mike takes on Royce and Coop takes on Boldy. I don't like that for Royce, in all honesty. Really? I'll take Royce. And you know how I feel about Royce, but I don't like that for Royce. Huh. Because I'm about to hit you with, like, surf and surf, scrape the bowl, photographs <laughs> of memories. Like, no, nah, like, Royce in trouble. Royce going to be making, like, hip-hop bangers like that. And when he do, Black Thought be on him. Well, this, right. I guess this is the perfect time to let the cat out the bag. Coop and I are actually working on another show. It's going to be, I guess, a, I guess we're going to call it a Monday show, but I'll call it a third show for now, right? Uh, we're either going to do Patreon or we're going to do a membership through the According to Hip Hop website, and we're going to actually play music. And so we could do something like this and actually play the music because YouTube will be making it where we can't play the music and all that. So, yeah, Ooh, I, I think I'll take on I'll take on Royce, and um, I'm not going to play no Rock City or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're in all kinds of trouble. I just start, I'm just been kicking through Boldy stuff. You're in all kinds of trouble. Because I think that, you know, for something like this, we actually got to play the music so that, you know what I'm saying, people could really gauge where this goes. <laughs> no, no, no. Here. No, no. I'm with the Royce and Boldy thing. That's what I was like. No, we're going to do this shit like for the culture that they those other people couldn't do because they was like, you know, 
more worried about a check and making it seem like they was for the culture. We actually gonna do it for the culture. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this for y'all, man. I mean, we're gonna do this for us, for the culture. Like a no, third I like, show. I like, the, I like the Boldy Royce thing to start us off because that's like some rap shit. That's Detroit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The Carlo says uh, Boldy ain't got nothing uh, better than Boom. That's just one song though. But yeah, I actually I totally agree with that. I love Boom. I love Royce. I'm more of a Royce fan than a Boldy fan, but, but Royce don't have better catalog than Boldy. Mm. I just like Royce more as an MC. That's just me being honest. I prefer Royce as an MC, and I'm always going to have Royce ahead of Boldy as an MC. But if I got to go pick up somebody's album and listen to it, I'm going to play Boldy before I'm going to play Royce because I know he's going to give me a better project. Let's get to this Shade Noir. Hold on. And speaking of which, when the last time Royce released a project? Is the allegory it? I think that, that was top. Good. That was top ten in our twenty twenty yearbook. So it's been going on so while while Boldy's been releasing all these projects, nothing from Royce. Well, I mean, since that little Lupe situation, we ain't heard nothing from Royce at all. I wasn't even going to be shady and say that, but you know that's what I was. I mean, it's the last of. time we heard from. Him. I, mean, I ain't trying to be shady. I'm just saying, like, it's what it is. No, no, no. The shade is appropriate if the weather says so. <laughs> <laughs> 